Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm Emmanuel Chailleux from University Gustave Eiffel. I'm chairing with Christian Rab from EMPA, the Technical Committee PIM, which means Phase and Interphase of Bituminous Materials. This TC is included in the cluster F dedicated to bituminous material on polymers. The convenor of the cluster F is H and Dave. My presentation today deals with TCPIM activity status. TCPIM came after a long history of technical committees, beginning in 1968, dedicated to bituminous materials characterization. I personally contribute to TCPEB, ATB, and SIB. In 2016, TCSIB was composed of six technical groups. 88 people follow this TC with 35 active members. Hence, it has been decided to separate activities related to recycling in the TC wrap, reclaim asphalt pavement, to the others, TC PIM, phase and interphase of bituminous materials, in order to increase work efficiency and visibility. We would like by our collective work to help innovation in the field of bituminous materials, knowing that innovative materials implementation is not always easy in a world where standards, construction rules are made for conventional materials. For that, we need to go towards more intrinsic evaluation relevant to actual field performances. It means that we have to understand more deeply material in its context by studying it at different scale, from nanoscopic scale to structural scale, taking into consideration the multiphasic nature of bituminous material. Broad bituminous materials multiphasic nature can be found at different levels. It can be seen as a two-phase materials, organic, but also mineral. A state-changing material with temperature, load and time of loading, from the brittle elastic state to the viscous state, but also a multi-phase structure inside the binder, but also a multi-layer structure of the pavement, and finally, a phase-changing material with edging. This is why the technical committee PIM has been divided in three skills, binder, mixture, and layered structure. The TG1 is chaired by Laurent Porot from Craton. Work of the TG1 are dedicated to testing of complex and combined binder. TG2 dedicated to mixture and especially low temperature performance of mixes is chaired by Cédric Sosea from the University of Lyon. The TG3 chaired by Francesco Canestrari from Universita Politecnica del Marche deals with the pavement multilayer system trying to understand the dynamic interlayer shear testing. Let's go more in details to TG activities, beginning by the TG1, testing of complex and combined binder, TG chaired by Laurent Porot. Today's pavement industry is facing to change in all refinery techniques and strategies. In the same time, new technology offers with innovative additives are developed. As an example, a refinery residue, the re-refined engine oil bottoms, REOB, can be added to bitumen. This addition could be a negative point regarding pavement durability and questions arise concerning fast separation and the way to detect it in bitumen. In order to answer this type of questions, TG1 aims to focus 
on the way to assess modified bitumen. Two different complex binders are considered in comparison to neat bitumen in this TG. The first type of binder is related to polymer modified bitumen, the group 1. The second type is composed of a bitumen modified by different oils, rejuvenating agent, rayob, and paraffinic oil. This is the group 2. Different tests have been used to assess binder properties. The concept, the concept have been to let labs choose tests according to their skills and knowledge. The idea is that by crossing this result, it is possible to understand interface stability with aging. 17 labs have participated to this collaborative work. The TG1 is composed of 40 corresponding members. For now, more than 750 results have been produced. All tests have been performed between April 2019 and April 2020. Works have been organized in nine subgroups in order to analyze this huge number of results. Outcomes have been presented in three international conferences and published in four peer-reviewed journals. It remains to contribute to the TCPIN state-of-the-art report as well as to write recommendations. An interesting finding from the TG1 is the multi-criteria intrinsic analysis derived from complex modulus measurement at several temperatures using a dynamic shear rheometer. And also the development of a new testing approach based on a multi-strip creep recovery test in temperature sweep which appears to be more discriminant for complex binders. Moreover, physicochemical analysis with atomic force microscopy, differential scanning calorimetry and infrared spectroscopy have given the possibility to identify inclusions, to determine glass transition and identify typical fingerprinting. The TG2 is chaired by Cédric Sosea and is dedicated to low temperature performances of mixture. The main concept of the TG2 is to consider bituminous materials and especially bituminous mixtures as a 3D materials this work follow what have been initiated in TCSIB about 3D linear viscoelastic characterization. The proposal here is to focus on the 3D behavior at low temperature through the thermal stress restrained specimen test. Works have been organized mainly around an interlaboratory campaign. 11 labs are involved in the interlaboratory test. Some of them propose a 3D characterization which enables the thermal contraction coefficient measurement and even in some cases the Poisson ratio measurement. A common testing procedure has been defined after reviewing all existing procedures but also according to lab's possibilities. Tests were planned in two phases. The first one is made to measure the thermal dilatation coefficient. The second is dedicated to the measurement of the failure stress and temperature with the conventional 
TS RST procedure. Here is an example of the instrumentation for 3D characterization. It uses, in this case, three radial extensometer, but also two non-contact transducers. The figures show the stress developed in the bituminous mixture according to the temperature decrease for eight labs. Temperature and stress at failure are very far from the average value for certain labs. It appears that the starting temperature play a major role regarding the final result. Moreover, these tables highlight the effect of the initial temperature on the thermal contraction coefficient, showing that it is necessary to control the temperature field inside the sample if we want to have reproducible measurement. It is why another interlaboratory test is ongoing in order to understand the initial temperature influence. This work will be helped by a viscoelastic viscoplastic modeling. Findings will be finally included in the general TC PIM state of the art report. TG3 is chaired by Francesco Canestari. This TG deals with pavement multilayer system. It is important to not forget that a pavement is a multilayer structure and consequently the overall performance is strongly dependent on the interface bonding quality. Hence, assessing interface behavior is a major challenge. The main idea here is to move from the interlayer shear strain measured with monotonic shear test to cyclic shear testing. It is expected to have a more reliable assessment of the interface by measuring better the interface stiffness and also the resistance to repeated loading. The first step of the TG3 works have been to collect information on existing cycling tests. Then, an interlaboratory test has been organized with the aims to evaluate different parameters temperature, frequency, normal stress, and stress or strain amplitude. This interlaboratory test has been performed on the same material. Nine labs have been involved in this work. EMPA, University of Lyon, University of Limoges, Polytechnic University of Del Marche, University of Bologna, Gdansk University of Technology, uh, Road and Bridge Institute, University of Mino, and North Carolina State University. Samples have been prepared and shipped to the participating labs. Attention has been held to send equivalent specimen in terms of composition and volumetric properties. These uh, pictures show the different device used in the interlaboratory a test, so a device used in Italy, Poland, USA, Switzerland, Portugal, and France. This table shows the different loading conditions that have been applied in each lab. Temperature from minus, test, minus 10 degrees to 50 degrees, frequency from 1.1 to 10 Hz, with also different normal stress applied. Some experiments are performed in displacement control mode, others in stress control mode. 
the different loading conditions allow to understand the effect of the normal stress on the interface stiffness measurement. Interface shear stiffness increases with normal stress level. Moreover, frequency and temperature sweeps allow to show that the time to temperature superposition principle can be applied on the shear interface stiffness by building master curves. Concerning interface fatigue behavior in control stress mode, lifetime appears to be strongly affected by temperature. As an example, for an experiment without normal stress, interface behaves better at low temperature in control stress mode. Behavior of the interfaces under cycling loading was investigated, not only looking at the mechanical parameters measured during the test, for example, through the interface shear stiffness evolution, but also by means of direct detection of displacements and damage, thanks to the use of advanced techniques such as 3D digital image correlation and also using 3D acoustic emissions localization. TG3 results uh, are already published and others are going to be published and main findings will also be integrated in the TCPIM state-of-the-art report. In conclusion, we can say that lots of work have been done since the beginning of the Technical Committee PIM. Results have been published or will be soon published. A conference related to TC PIM has been also organized by ENTPE in Lyon as a virtual event. Proceedings will be available soon, as well as two special issues in journals, Road Material on Pavement Design and Journal of Testing and Evaluation. Experimental works have been done for each TG and no star is going to be written, but for that we need one year extension. We are also thinking about a new TC. A meeting is organized soon to discuss this subject. Thanks a lot for your attention and a special thanks to uh, Christian Rab from EMPA, Laurent Porot from Croton Chemical, Cédric Sosea from ENTPE and Francesco Canestrari from Universita Politica del Marche. And of course, thanks a lot to all numerous TG's members.